So what I have here today are the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and Ecto-1A 2-pack. There are two 2-packs. Two um, one, I believe, has the new vehicles, which is a hearse and a, a motorcycle. But anyways, we'll look at this one first. This one I've seen online going for $15 each. Um, if you're lucky, you can find this at Walmart. At least in my area, a lot of the stores have been getting these two packs in. I haven't seen any of the two packs with the new hearse and the motorcycle at Walmart, but I did find one at a Toys R Us in Indiana. Anyways, um, this is actually a, a 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Amulet. Um, I think they also use these as a hearse. Um, back in the day when they were in service. Anyways, we'll open them up. I don't think the casts are really different. Um, the 1A might have some, you know, new equipment on it and stuff, but other than that, it's the same vehicle. And the tamples are also different. So, you know, you can see these in the movie, but I'm not sure how well, um, how accurate these are really are. Um, they're probably not detailed extensively, but just enough to make them look just like the movies. So anyways, here are the cars. The first one, um, Ecto-1. Nice white. And this one I've been looking everywhere for. This was in the Retro Series um, this year. And uh, it, it's, uh, whenever I, I find the Retro Series, a lot of stores didn't carry them. And this car would never be seen. Um, usually it was the James Bond car of some kind. I don't know exactly which one. But i just never seen it. Let's see, I don't know if the wheels are plastic or rubber. I think they might be rubber. They don't have treads on them. And they're white walls. And I believe this part actually comes off. Uh, yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. Now it has a sunroof. And now you can see inside. I think that was probably the point. And you can see what kind of stuff they got in there. And it's all metal. So this cost me around 10 bucks at Walmart. And uh, I think I got 1,500 uh, points for it on Hot Wheels Race Rewards. And I did buy something recently. I'll probably do a video on that. Anyways, here's the next one. This is from the second movie. Same vehicle, different tamples. I'm not sure if this comes off. We could try it. It may or may not. Oh, yeah, it's budging real easy. If I just don't want to pull it off so tightly. Because what if it, you know, was attached? But it does pop off. Um, I don't think this is fully detailed. So I believe... Some parts are uh, gray in the movie one. And, you know, these are white. It's okay, I guess, if you don't mind. Anyways, we'll look at the car. Yeah. I think the tamples on here are real nice compared to it. And it has a license plate on it. It says Ecto-1A. Didn't really look at it on this one. This one has no license plate. And the positioning of the license plate's different on that one. Yeah, this one doesn't have one, but this one does. Anyways, they're both pretty nice, and I was lucky to find them. And a lot of the stores are getting these in, so they're not that rare, for, at least for me. Let's see, anything else about these? Now, we'll put it back on. So these are actually being released because of the new movie. I don't know how well the mov the new movie's gonna be. A lot of people are, are saying it's crappy. But anyways, um, I'll probably see it eventually. And these tires on here are different from this one. They're uh, Goodyear tires. This one has treads on it. Let's see. I didn't mistake any. No, nope, looks like this one just regular slicks on it. I think that's about it. Um, I actually like this one a little better. Because it has more tamples and stuff. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say. You can uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day.